Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. This is the first time you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend you have found me, grab a snack and a drink. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd be so incredibly grateful. We are on our way to 53,000 followers. And I'm so thankful and grateful. You guys have no idea. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you. And we have to talk. Um, this video, we have to talk about Selena Gomez and what she said about her past relationships. And I just think it's something so interesting to, to, to look into. I'm going to play the clip in a bit. But I just think it's very interesting because once you're in any type of relationship or any type of partnership or whatever it is, you kind of lose yourself a little bit and you kind of lose your 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 core like you know values sometimes you know what i mean like in in toxic relationships i mean not good ones but um i found this clip it's been going around i'm getting tagged in it and i just loved it so much so i'm gonna play for you guys the video and then we can talk because I know that I don't have it all, but I do know that I deserve something special. And that is exactly how I feel. I won't tolerate being treated any other way. So I found this video so interesting. This is definitely an old clip, but it is resurfacing for obvious reasons. Um, and I just think it's so important what she said that here, let's let's listen to it together. I just I loved it. I know that I don't have it all, but I do know that I deserve something special. And that is exactly how I feel. I love that so much because when you are in, oh, this is T with a side of advice, a side of motivation, and a side of a wake up call. Okay, bitch. So I don't know who this is going to appeal to, but I hope and pray one of you guys can take something from this in relationships, in, in, in friendships and everything um, that aren't great for you. You do tolerate a lot of stuff. You put up with a lot of stuff that normally you would never put up with. Normally you would never even, you, you, you tell people not to put up with shit, but then you are putting up with a lot of things. You are, you aren't. Uh, respecting your own boundaries as people are not respecting your boundaries, but you're not making them respect them because you're not respecting them either. And it takes to come out of a very toxic situation like Selena Gomez did with Justin Bieber to realize that they don't have to tolerate anything less than what they want and that they deserve, I repeat, they deserve to be treated with the utmost respect and for their boundaries to be to be respected and to be uh, uh, you know carefully um treated you know what i mean and i think it's such a prime example as to why when people ask like do you think you know Celine and Justin are going to get back together one day and stuff this is a great great you know thing to to show them because why would you want to get back with somebody that you allowed yourself to tolerate a lot of negativity and a lot of things that normally you wouldn't have put yourself through just because you are blinded by love? <gasps> I'm so serious. And like, I see the messages every day like, oh, you know, Haley, you know, Justin, leave Haley, go back with Selena. Justin, leave Haley, go back with Selena. Haley's not good for Justin. Haley's not good for Justin. But Justin is not good for Selena, boo. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't want I wouldn't want a friend to go back with somebody who made them feel less than, who made them feel like they are not worthy of having their boundaries respected. You know what I mean? And this is something that I have learned recently in friendships because this applies to every type of relationship. I feel like one of the things that you have to do in any type of relationship, whether it's family, you know, friendship, you know, love, whatever it is, you have to be able to speak up and you have to be able to speak on your boundaries. And boundaries are, I, I repeat boundaries a lot because I'm finally learning about mine and I'm finally learning at how we cannot allow people to just treat us the way that they please, right? And from somebody who, who has had low self-esteem, 
who has had, you know, um, no self-respect. So, of course, if I don't respect myself, nobody will respect me. I'm seeing this and it's just such a beautiful thing that she said that she will not allow, you know, anyone to treat her a certain way because she knows what she is worthy of. She knows what she deserves. And that is something so special. And that is why I admire her so much because you don't see a lot of huge celebrities talk about these things because they make themselves, you know, with her saying this, she comes off as vulnerable. I never know how to say that fucking word. Vulnerable. Veronable, but Veronable, Veronica, Vernable, Ver, Ver, you know what I mean, bitch. Um, and I just think it's so important to really, you know, talk about that. And it, you know, I've had friendships, you guys, where, where I have allowed things. I've had relationships where I have allowed things that, you know, I'm kind of seeing myself from the outside. I'm just like, girl, what are you doing? You know what I mean? So I just think, you know, now that we're ending this month and we're starting a new month, I think it's important to take these life advices, you know, from Celine. I, you know, I, it's really crazy. I love that this clip is resurfacing and going viral again because it needs to be be reminded that Selena, first of all, A, is better off alone, two, she is thriving, and three, if you have finally been able to escape your toxicness, why go back to it? You know what I mean? Why go back to it? There is no point in going back to something that is not good for you, right? Um, I don't know, you guys. I just think I found it so interesting, and I I will tell you, like, I, I was in a relationship uh, one of my first relationships with a boy and he really like blinded me with 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 things that I thought were normal like I, or I thought that were like love things you know but then I look back and I'm like wow the amount of disrespect that I allowed and the amount of you know just putting myself through the dirt. I allowed that, right? And looking back at certain things, I, 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 of course it's all learning experience, but I would never want to go back to any toxicness. So why would, you know, why would anybody want to go back to any toxicness? And I think that Selena, after trying so many times with Justin and then her, you know, Justin, um, girl, what is this? And then Justin, you know, engaging with freaking Hailey Bieber two months after they break up. I'm like, girl, that is your answer right there, honey. You do not want to go back there. You need to know your value. You need to know your worth. You need to know that if somebody makes you feel less than, if somebody doesn't make you feel like the most shining, brightest star in the universe, you do not want to be with them. Do not waste your time because you know what, girl? You have to say this to, to the person. You say, listen, boo, I have the hair. I have the face. I even have the booty, but I do not have the time for you. All right. So that was my daily dose of motivation. And, you know, I, I think it's important. I think it's a wonderful thing when you start valuing yourself, valuing, va va valuing yourself, whatever. And you start, you know, just putting yourself up and, 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 and knowing that you deserve the world. It, it doesn't mean that you're conceited or selfish. It just means that you are surviving. You have to survive in that way. Because if you don't believe that you deserve the world, if you don't believe you deserve self-respect, nobody's going to show you that. So anyways, that was Preacher Sebastian of the day. You guys know that on my channel, you get all the little different things. You get a side of tea with motivation, with pep talk. So I hope you enjoyed it. I love you all so much. I'm so grateful. I, you know, in my, in, in the reason I'm here, I really always want you to remind you to be your best self, to to value yourself, to, to put yourself up in a pedestal. You don't need to wait for anybody put, to put you on a pedestal. You got this on your own honey and i want you to always remember that okay anyways i love you all i'm grateful and thankful for you and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah.